Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my patrons and those who ordered the Tesla using my referral code. In, unless you're living under a rock, you probably heard about this smart summon. There are about 10,000 videos a day of people, including myself, uh, summoning their car from the parking lots and all that stuff. And already, I have not seen one, but already there are some minor uh, collisions and accidents that are taking place in parking lot. And of course, uh, the NHTSA, also known as NHTSA, the National Highway Transportation Safety Association, is uh, investigating the safety of um, the smart summon, uh, just like the autopilot. Uh, I can tell you here, so I'm going to show you uh, a video of my... Um, of my little experience with the smart summon in an empty parking lot. Also, uh, here's one from a filthy Tesla and all that. Uh, I used it also uh, at night in the dark, uh, raining for a short distance. It did great. Yesterday, I used it in another parking lot and it did a little bit, went backward and then it started going forward. So just like autopilot, uh, which is in beta mode, uh, this is also in a beta mode and also in, um, you know, a trial. Uh, however, uh, this time there's no, obviously there's no driver, you controlling your car from your app. And, you know, if, if you release the, 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 the come to me button, the, the car will stop. So um, just like everything else, uh, like, just like autopilot, just like any new technology, it's going to take time. But they, I, I, God forbid, if one person is going to seriously get injured or God forbid killed, then it's going to be a. Comp so if somebody uh, get killed or I know get seriously injured, then just like with the autopilot uh, accident that happened uh, in the last couple of years, you know, there's going to be a big, big, big controversy in Bigor. If you remember that accident with uh, the Uber. Um, the Uber driver that was using LiDAR and that uh, a cycler, she crossed the road and she got hit and got killed and they stopped the testing of uh, of that uh, technology. So it, it's all good until, God forbid, something happened and then we'll see what happens. But it is very much the beginning of the next step, not the beginning, the next step of the march to autonomous driving. Like the autopilot has exponentially improved and so this um, on, and so these uh, technologies will exponentially up, uh, improve and will be uh, much better uh, uh, as time goes on, as, uh, as data is collected. But we'll see what happens because it is, um, this one is, is different than autopilot because this one, there's nobody in the car. And, and, and even if you are 100 feet, 150 feet away from the car, you know, something, something ought to, not, something would happen and then, and then, or uh, it's possible that uh, that NHTSA will uh, suspend it or cancel it or make it illegal. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Of course, we will um, uh, continue to monitor the situation. If you do use Smart Summon, uh, let me know what you experienced so far. And let me know if you even uh, for it. I am not, I use it a couple of times just for fun to show off, but it's not something I would use uh, because of a need. I mean, Give me a break. I need to, I need to find reasons to walk, not to stand around. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow.